is the Easy Pro dovetail jig. Uh, using it, you can make dovetail joints halfway or all the way through. Um, and all you need is your router, safety equipment, and some clamps. Or you could also use it on your router table. So we're going to be making dovetail joints today. Right out of the box, you'll have your fully assembled jig, an instruction booklet, and an accessories case, which has four thumb screws used to clamp the wood, your dovetail cutter with bearings, four clamp pads, and uh, the offset tool. The only assembly required on the jig is to install the four clamping thumb screws. After it's screwed in, push on the uh, clamp pad. Router bit end bushings get inserted into your router and clamped in securely. It's always a good idea to have the router unplugged while you do this. The jig has a depth adjustment plate. This can be used to set the height of your dovetail bit in your router. So we're going to set the, the depth plate to one half inch, which is the height of our cutting bit. We first loosen the two screws that clamp down the adjusting plate, and we slide down the top edge um, and align it with the half inch markings on both sides. And then we tighten the plate. So now we're using the depth plate to adjust the height of the router bit. So you adjust the, your, the height of your router bit so that it just touches the, the top of the depth plate. So now we'll be cutting the tails portion of the joint. We install the board so that it's centered. Uh, we'll center the board in this portion of the jig so that the tail's pattern will be centered on the finished piece. And then clamp it down. If your, if your wood is thinner than the spacing of these two, you can either readjust the thumb screw to the center position or take a clamp from the other side and use three. So it fits over the edge of your workbench and uh, you'll either clamp the wood to your bench or clamp the jig uh, to the bench. So we're now going to cut the tails portion of the joint, starting from the left and moving to the right, because you get a cleaner cut that way. Alright. Since the two outside tails are incomplete, you can cut them off and use the remaining three, or you could leave them intact and complete the joint as is. So we'll now unclamp it from the table and remove it from remove the wood from the jig. So if we're cutting a piece of wood that's wider than the jig, we'll have to make the cuts in two steps. Uh, to align the wood, we'll first need to mark center so we can ensure that our pattern uh, will be centered on the board. We'll now align the center mark with one of the pattern fingers, which will ensure that there's a tail centered on the board. I 
I didn't clamp it into the chick. Alright. So now we just We'll now have to shift the board over to finish the remainder of the cut. So we unclamp our wood from our jig and shift it over. Now using the aligning tool, we'll insert it into one of the slots 